meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. And on the same topic, down in Newport, the Batmobile is there. Not that Batmobile, the blood alcohol testing truck. Police officers use this to kind of prevent people from uh, getting behind a wheel uh, in, in an impaired state. So please remember to drive sober tonight and always. There's the Batmobile in the city by the sea. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar dry conditions tonight. Lots of green hair in the threat tracker tonight, Sunday and Monday. That means that there's a low chance of any severe weather. Here's Oakland Beach in Warwick. Great visibility. Temperature 28. Wind from the northeast at 7. It's pretty cold out there. It's cold in Smithfield at 23. Sort of earlier. Chapachet was 21. 31 in Westerly. Block Island 31. Cold in New, uh, New Bedford. 26 degrees. Cold front pushing through the region. Now off to our south, the cold air coming in behind that and temperatures overnight will be bottoming out in the teens. Notice that rain off to our south. That's going to miss us passing on off to our south. Well off to our south. We'll be enjoying the sunshine throughout the daytime tomorrow, but tomorrow is going to be a cold start to the day. The wind chill future cast. We've got temperatures in the teens around midnight taking you into tomorrow morning look at this single digits to start your day almost a midwinter chill to start your day tomorrow but hey at least we'll have the sunshine forecast for sunday morning clear skies few clouds around perhaps during the afternoon and evening and tomorrow night but in general dry weather right through the daytime on monday big chunk of sunshine for you on monday sunday morning we're looking at a cold but uh, dry start to the day in the teens we're getting into the upper 20s around noon time and in the afternoon we are looking at temperatures to top out in the mid 30s let's pinpoint things for you looking at lots of sunshine for you on a sunday along the south coast of rhode island temperatures in westerly around 38 37 narragansett 38 newport you head inland though a smidge colder west warwick 35 johnston 34 cranston providence east providence in the mid 30s Feeling a little bit colder than that with a bit of wind. 34 in Fall River, New Bedford, about 34 degrees. Here's Tuesday's storm. Looks like uh, Maryland over into northern Virginia, maybe West Virginia. They could be seeing snow, but it looks like that storm will be passing far enough off to our south and east that we'll be spared the brunt of it. We may get brushed with a little bit of snow and rain late in the day on Tuesday, but at the moment, and the new information is coming in right now and that says the same thing it looks like we'll be spared the brunt of that upcoming storm it's still early though hey let's take a look at st joseph's day temperatures in the 20s in the morning getting up to about 38 degrees during the afternoon highs in the low 40s in the afternoon tuesday here's that storm system late day rain and snow showers possible most of the storm looks like it'll be staying off to our south however don't let this be the last forecast you hear about it because this still could change a little bit. Wednesday, Thursday, and through next Saturday, we're looking at dry weather with temperatures in the 40s. Let's keep that storm away. Everybody turn to the south and just kind of <laughs> blow it away. Blow it away. Thanks, TJ. <laughs> Coming up in Sports and Eyewitness News at 11, we go back to Pittsburgh.